Welcome everyone, GamerCop here. This is going to be episode 3 of my gameplay on Fishing North Atlantic. So, we are going to go out today, as mentioned previously, and we are going to go look for some more deep line fish. This time we are going to go get these guys good for herring, because we're going to try to catch some more tuna this time. So that's our goal. Um, costs a little bit more than baiting with squid, but, I mean, it's kind of negligible with having $88,000 in the bank. So... We're good to go. We can only hold eight deep lines on here in case you're wondering, but uh, yeah, so let's go actually see if there's any tips about tuna. There's not. Okay, so we'll go out to that one tuna spot that we saw last time. If you don't remember, I'll show you here in a second. Uh, oh, we need to probably, we need maintenance, purchase fuel. Yeah, it's gonna cost us hardly anything. <laughs> I do like that they have the sense on here. I think that's actually very nice. I think that's very convenient. Um, so you can kind of break it down quite a bit, but, uh, okay. We should be good to go. Oh, there's a new ship in here, which we didn't look at last time available. Um, this is the one that we unlocked. That was only 35 grand, but that was the one we unlocked, um, in the last episode that we found. So smooth ride. Toby is a fishing boat with very good sea features with a stable hull that results in a smooth ride. All right. It looks like it has a maybe nets or long line type stuff. I'm not sure what it can be rigged for. I wish it said that. I guess they can do different fish on here. So maybe we'll purchase that guy for the next episode. But we'll do some deep line fishing in this one. That's not a bad one. I mean, yeah, looking at other boat prices. I'm surprised that one's so cheap. Oh, nets. It can do long line nets. Jeez, oh, right in front of me. Those ones show that as well? Those ones don't show that on there. It says deep line or... See, I wish it said that on all of them. But yeah, so long lines and nets. So maybe we'll do some long line and some nets fishing in the next couple episodes we might look into doing that um okay let's head out of here yep let's get out of here okay yep. yep we sold that last episode so we made some good money last time selling some fish let's get ourselves i think we need to turn around to get out of here but uh yeah we'll get turned around and we'll go into here to fast travel a little bit probably can turn our light on okay so we need to get out to here. There we go. That way you're not crossing land like you think you are. So we're going to go try fishing down here. So, th yeah, we'll get... Oops. Turn it. Let's get right to about there. Maybe right to there. And then we'll throw our deep lines between these two points. That's four days ago. Well, that one's, that one's more recent. Yeah, we'll see what's on the radar down here. Maybe we'll go a little bit further. Yeah, we'll try that. So let's take us a look. It's actually going to take us a fair amount of time to get down here and see time's chipping away there. Oh, and the other thing, while we're doing that, we can look at uh, fish types. Lobster is another thing I wanted to do. Lobster, when is the season for it? Lobster's best caught April to July. Um, and we're looking for swordfish is August to October. And I didn't even see if we're in it for ooh, the bluefin tuna. Yeah, that's what we also were looking for. From June to September... So September, we're in August now, so I guess it's not the best time to catch it, but that'd be okay. Swordfish is decent, obviously, for us right now. Um, Pollock, all year. September to February, redfish, all year. Attic, every season, there's a little made October. Okay, anyhow. Yeah, so you can look in there at some of the different things. Are we, oh, we didn't, we stopped fast traveling, that's my bad. I thought it was going to keep going while we did it, but I guess not. So, anyhow, we'll get down into here, and we can hopefully throw out all of our deep lines and get some good tuna on here, which I know there's not going to be maybe a ton of tuna out here, but it'll be fine. <laughs> these are kind of the smaller fish, as you can see, and you can, again, you can put labels out for all these, which is nice, and just right-click to get rid of them. i got to be careful, though, so a lot of times I'll right-click and accidentally delete them off the map when I'm trying to set down points or something stupid like that. But, uh, all right, there we are. Get out of here. We probably can turn... The search light off. Probably don't have the running lights on, though. Um, put that up. Let's get you ready to go for preparing gear. And we'll, again, we'll throw this guy up. Zoom out. And we will start going. And I want to actually zoom out a little bit on here. So we're going to head for that other tuna there. So that guy's not what we want, but that guy's a tuna right there, and that's also swordfish, which we can still sell, or not sell those, I mean, we can, but we can still catch those on this line. Um, yeah, let me put it down to about there. 
So there, yeah, it looks like that's a swordfish down there. But let me get closer to that tuna. Oh, no, that's not a swordfish. Where's that tuna at? Hmm, maybe it's gone now. Oh, that looks like that might be a tuna. Just tuna and stuff around anyhow. All right, we'll start throwing them down. Dismiss. As long as we see stuff on here, I think that's a good sign for us. Hmm, let's wait a little bit. Can't tell what that is down there. Open, there'd be more tuna. Um. So obviously I'm zooming in and out to show the range on here. I'm not seeing as much tuna down here as I thought I was gonna see, but, uh, which isn't great. Open for a little bit more. That looks like that might be... That's a tuna right there for sure. That's not a tuna. I don't know what that is. That's a tuna for sure. So once we get a little bit closer to that... Throw down this guy. Might as well right there. And as soon as we get another one ready, we'll throw it down. Boom. Number one's just way off in the distance. <laughs> That's okay. We'll be able to get them all. Yeah, there's some tuna coming up. Okay. Tuna right there. Obviously, this is kind of unrealistic with the fish would keep moving in it. It wouldn't really. I mean, you just you just kind of know different regions where there'd be more of them and fish would smell it and whatnot and come to it if they could, you know, if they found it or whatever the case may be. But uh, ooh, there's oh, that was a good one. There's a couple down there. And as soon as we get ready to throw another one, we're going to throw another one. Beautiful. I don't see any more on the radar here. I know I'm kind of diverting from my straight line strategy that I was going to do this time, but it's okay. Maybe some tuna. That's a swordfish there, but there should be some tuna coming up. Maybe we, maybe those are the ones that we passed. I don't know where the boat is on this or where it's supposed to end up technically being on here, but uh, all right, their eight lines are out. Um... Yep, that's that's all she wrote. Let's put uh, you to go rest before I forget about you. Um, and we will go ahead and travel up. Uh, we'll go a little bit past it and come back down to it right there. That should get us. Yep, right there. Okay. Perfect. Head around there. Okay, now we will hop out of here. Hop into here. And we probably actually can kill the engine. There we go. And we'll wait eight hours. Nothing yet, right? Yep, okay. I think it normally does take a decent amount of time. Six, nothing yet. Um, another six. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, those are all going to be good lines right there. That's what I'm talking about, folks. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, again, it's... Of course, it's uh, nighttime. It's 6... Is it 6.01 in the morning? Get rid of all those alerts. Yeah, it's 6.01. Lights should be coming up. Or the... Should be getting lighter out soon, I would think. But... Oh, we need to get someone out to haul deep lines. All right, Sadie. It's time for you to shine. Let's get back to... Actually, it doesn't really matter what we're on, I guess. Might as well leave you on there. All right. Number one, and then we'll have to speed up to go and hit the other ones because they're pretty far away. But that's okay. We should get some really good, a really good amount of fish from these. Nice, pull it on board. Three on this one. That's the first line that we've gotten with three on. Fabulous. And a perfect. Boy, we're starting this off just the right way. <laughs> and that's a big old tuna on there. Fantastic. That was a good. We'll take it. And that is an R tuna right there. As you can see, the animation is a little bit askew, but yep, that's two tuna. 
And is this a swordfish? Yep, and a swordfish, perfect. So yeah, as you can see, we'll still catch some swordfish and whatnot, but getting tuna like that when we have, uh, when we're way out of season is pretty darn good. So, oh, anyhow. Again, if you guys are enjoying, let me know. If you guys absolutely hate hate this, then I may not keep doing it, but that's why I wanted to do it as a separate channel, just in case. So other people could come and watch this if they wanted to, or if they if you if you just like my farming stuff, then you don't have to feel obligated, obviously, to come on here and watch. But you definitely should go subscribe and check out Farmer Cop if you have not already. I do tell a lot of police stories in that. I'll probably keep that mostly reserved to Farmer Cop stuff. I'll still talk about police stuff and go on my long vents and whatnot and kind of my chaoticness that I just... It's just how I am. But uh, there we go. Beautiful sun's coming up. I might get a nice uh, photo of this. Slow you way down. And turn this off. Wait for that to go away. Get that off of there. And get a screenshot. All right, perfect. Normally for farmer cop stuff, I uh, get my screenshots you know, separate from doing the video, but um, this one's a little bit different, so I just try to do it while I'm doing it if I can. And I don't normally actually, or I, yeah, my thumbnails, not my screenshots, but I, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how I'm going to do these thumbnails. I haven't yet made any of the thumbnails for these episodes. I'm doing, I am recording them ahead of time, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. And. Two fish on there. All right, we'll take it. Oh, no, there's three on there. Ooh. Oh, baby. Tuna right there. We're going to do good on this one. We actually might, if we end up getting three for every one of these, we might overload the boat. But that, shoot, I'd rather have to throw a touch of them back instead of come back half empty, you know? Two tunas. Yeah, we'll take it. It's good. Three tunas there. That was not a bad one. I better get a drink of water. I've been talking too much. Ah, perfect. Yeah, we've only done two deep lines, and we're already... <laughs> Actually, maybe that's what I should have is up here is this part of it. Yeah, we've only done two deep lines, and eh, we're going to be pushing a little bit. Actually, that should be just perfect. It depends. If we get that many on each one, then it may not be as perfect as it can be, but we'll make it work. Perfect. Three on this one as well. Ooh, you're tricky. Oh, I missed you. Come on now. There we go. There's a perfect. That's what we need. Big old tuna get you on board. Fantastic. We should be able to find a good price for the tuna as well. Get you up on here. The tricky part too that I wish you could... I wish there was something you could do to set it to like daytime out, especially for like a recording purpose. I would rather record obviously a lot of the content when it's like day out because you can see more. But... Uh, I understand too that if I like fast forward the time a little bit more then a lot of times the fish will go away because I've tried that. I did that one time and it did not work well uh, to kind of test that out and I just ended up losing a lot of the fish because um, the lines did just, they just lost their whatever. This is kind of perfect. I probably could have waited a little bit until it's a little bit brighter out, but this is decent. The sun's coming up. And grab it. Perfect. Three fish on this one too. We are doing absolutely fantastic. Perfect. Whew. Could not complain anymore. Well, I guess I haven't really been complaining, but we're doing good. We are doing very good. Ooh, I missed you. I think the deep lines definitely do work better in deeper water, which obviously makes sense. But I don't know. They work okay in shallow water. But it could have been the location too. There's a lot of different factors. But it looked like we got three tuna on that one as well, which is... That's incredible. That's fantastic. And maybe because it's not tuna season, we might get a little bit better pricing on them. I do know that some of the ports, if you kind of saturate them with a lot of a certain type of fish, you may not make as much money. So rotating through what kind of fish you're um, out getting will kind of help make you a little bit more money and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're doing okay though. We are getting full up on fish here. Remaining is, <laughs> that's kind of cool. It has the different kind of almost percentages it looks like there. Like different, I don't know how to describe it, but you can tell as it gets thinner and wider from what we got. We only, we should have, we have some swordfish on here as well. We had at least that one swordfish that we caught. Oh, and there's another, at least one swordfish on this line here. Ooh, that was okay. I should have waited. He started moving right one of the wrong time. It was just bad timing on my part. All right. Ooh, that was a good one. 
So yeah, there we go. We've got that's I think two swordfish now. And that wasn't too bad. I wish I would have done a little bit better on it, but and two tuna on that. So two tuna and a swordfish. We should be able to dismiss that. Fresh fish. There we go. Two swordfish. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen tuna. Two swordfish. All right. We're doing. We are almost full. There's no way we're gonna be overloaded. There's no way we're gonna fit all these fish on this on this boat. We're gonna have to throw some back, which is really gonna suck. I might leave if we get full on this next one. I might leave the deep lines out, even if it's just one, just to kind of experiment. Cause I really don't want to drop a deep line and do all that work to get it all on board and then just not get anything from it, because we have to throw it back or whatever. Well, I mean, we're spearing them to get on or harpooning them or whatever you want to call it to get them on. I don't know the official fishing terms. Oh, I guess we're probably not going to be throwing them back, which is just a waste. So other than, I guess, I mean, if they sit out here and rot on the line, it's going to be just a waste as well if they starve to death out here. But anyhow, not the best thoughts. Thank with the virtual fish. So even if I miscalculated and messed this up, it's going to be OK. The world's not going to end. I'm not actually affecting the fish population. And they do have quotas, as you might have seen that pop up a couple times. So you can only catch so many of uh, fish and stuff like that. But uh, we are. That was not bad. We did. How much do we have left on here? Uh, we'll definitely fit the next one, but we, and if we have a little bit of room and we have to waste a little bit of fish on the last one or the eighth one, that's okay. But, uh, as long as I don't want to go pick it up if we're not going to get anything on it, but I think we should be able to get something on it. And I might actually grab another photo because this is a pretty good, that's a good photo right there. Oh yeah, if we can get that right on there. Get that engine just kind of killed or just barely going and turn that off. Just wait for it. I guess I can still kind of work my way in a little bit. There we go. Nice photo of that. That's a that's a nice photo there, actually. I'm pretty pretty happy with that. All right. Let's get a little bit more here, a little bit more gusto, and come over here and pick this baby up and get number eight and head in, unless this one fills up our ship. And there we go. Grab that. Oh, come on. You can get it. Got it. I didn't want to have to reverse to go pick that up again. Oh, I missed you. Tried too soon. And good. We'll take it. Fantastic. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Gamer cop slash farmer cop strikes again. Other games I've thought about playing on here too. I like to play like uh, RimWorld, Prison Architect, stuff like that. I don't know if you guys enjoy those games or not. Minecraft I actually like quite a bit as well. Um, so I might do something like that. I play a lot with my younger brothers, mainly my Minecrafting. These days I used to have a realm that I played along with my friends quite a bit with, but uh, yeah, it kind of varies. I don't know. 13,000, we can put <laughs> another 200 pounds, so we'll go pick this one up, I guess, but we are going to be absolutely loaded. This thing is going to take forever to get back to port, but that's okay because we can fast travel, so it'll be fine. We'll look at the three ports we have discovered and see which one has the best prices for, well, Tuna is obviously the one that we're going to worry about because, yeah, that's, we, yeah, that's what we have mostly on board, so Anywho, let's get this last one on board. We'll sell some fish and wrap up this episode. We should be sitting pretty good with cash. Um, but yeah, I think maybe we'll do some fishing of something else this next uh, next round. I'll grab it. You got it? All right, let's see how many fish we waste. <laughs> oh, of course, that was a perfect two. I wonder if you get more off the weight of them, if you hit them perfect or not. I mean, there, you'd think there'd be a penalty if you did them, you know, just good or okay. You wouldn't get as much as perfect, but I don't really know kind of tricky to test because the fish already are different weights or kind of randomized weights and different weights and stuff like that but uh oh we're gonna throw some of that back yep 1700 pounds of fish was lost our storage is absolutely it doesn't say we're full though what maybe because we couldn't oh i guess we couldn't keep one of, there wasn't i guess that makes sense we couldn't keep half a fish i mean in the real world you could but i guess not in game you can only keep Whole fish so that's a good tuna spot i actually that was that was really good that's actually draw another that one wasn't as good up there well i mean actually we did okay on it let's put another tuna like out here i think this is where they're kind of going so okay let's take a look at fish prices tuna at 1489 is pretty darn good 1047 734 so we are going to yarmouth okay let's go back into oops 
Nope, nope. Hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. Okay. I eventually will hit it. I don't think you lose 50% fuel if you click and do it different ways like that, but again, I'm not too worried about it. Your mouth's up here. We should have plenty. 10 hours, that's such a long trip. Yep, yeah, we'll do that. And it won't let you do it if you don't have enough fuel. So if you don't have enough fuel to fast travel, it's not going to get you like halfway there and it'd be like, ha, sucks to be you, you're out of fuel. So at least that works out okay. But 10 hours to get there, it's going to be basically about nighttime by the time we get there. I guess it's not too late. What time is it? I guess it's 6, 6 p.m. All right, let's go ahead and enter into here. Yes. Whoo, that's what I'm talking. Swordfish, that is horrendous. But again, we don't really have two on board. I'm not too worried about it. We'll just sell them here. But that is fantastic. Sell that. All right, so 270,000. What are the uh, the boats that we have on here? I don't think I've ever I ever looked at them. Available. Oh, we got lots of different boats. We could uh, almost afford, afford the Lenore. Long line, net, and cramming. New lobster pots on there. So, like, this is, like, something, like, big, like this guy right here is a big one. You know, the coaster, 6.5 million, I know. And the Dexter is absolutely massive. Trawling. That's just a trawling boat. Oh, geez. And this is for snow crab. Snow crabbing boat. The backstabber. I think this is just a... Yeah, just harpoon and deep line. How many deep lines can you have on there? It doesn't say. But I guess you can kind of look down there, too, and see what uh, types of fish you can get on there. But this one has... Look at that. That can do just about anything. Cod, haddock, lobster, pollock, redfish, silver hack... Or silver hake? Silver hake? Swordfish and tuna. <laughs> Anyhow. So that's not a bad one there, the Lenore. Hmm. Max speed is 12.7 miles per hour. That's not super fast. This one... I'm surprised that one actually goes faster than the Lenore but anyhow there's some ships in there back out of there um yeah I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this episode we may end up buying a new boat we might go look at that other boat um and do something different in the next episode I think that's what'll probably end up happening but uh yeah if you enjoyed this drop a like down below if you have not already hit the subscribe button up on your screen to join the gamer cop channel turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post this has been gamer cop thank you guys for coming and watching